prototype two, slam him down and and absorb him. Yes, I finally got this game. Not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, I've been waiting patiently, patiently waiting, counting off the days, marking them off my calendar for this game to arrive, and finally it is here, and I love it. It's everything that I wanted this game to be. Look at the shadows, look at the lighting, look at the texture, the details. Everything is improved 100-fold in this game, and I love it. I cannot understand why IGN gave it such an inaccurate score. Look at that. Look at the detail on the roof. Look at the graffiti. Look at the buildings look at the tarp on the roof those are things that you didn't see in the first game everything is much better you can tell that activision and radical entertainment has taken cues from infamous 2 as far as um world detail and sound and they they put together a very good game like i said before the first prototype had a very good storyline the graphics may have been lacking but the storyline was solid it could be made into a Hollywood movie this is prototype 2 the storyline is still good just as good as the, the first one I just started playing and it's already good it may be even better than the first one and now you have good graphics to go along with the good storyline you're not playing as Alex Mercer anymore you're playing as a different protagonist who, who's um, the, his, his family had got killed by some of the uh, the infected humans from the first uh, prototype and he's mad at Alex Mercer but Alex Mercer is trying to open up his eyes and make him see the truth that it wasn't his fault that his family got killed he wasn't behind it it wasn't a malicious attack just against this protagonist that you play against it's that the the company uh, Gentech and 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 uh, Black Watch those are the the people behind all of this so Right now, this is the beginning. I just finished a couple missions, and you had to go through an in-game tutorial. Of course, they had to get you to uh, acclimated to the controls. The controls are still the same from the, from the first prototype. Uh, right now, you see me picking up this black box, which is kind of like a. Um, it's not kind of like anything. It's a it's an audio log that you listen to, and it tells you events from the past i don't know how they're gonna fit into the storyline as of yet but it seems like they will have some sort of um i don't know maybe they're giving you some sort of backstory as to how things got to the way they are now but look at this flipped over cars the graffiti on the walls um the tanks look more detailed they're different uh, I'm about to screw with this one just so I can give you some sort of uh, as much action as possible in such a short video. I had to cut it short because a lot of it was just me jumping around and going from point A to point B. As I said, the game gets you into a, uh, a tutorial mode and they have they make you go through all these bells and whistles so you know the controls i didn't want to put that in a video so i give you action instead i give you explosions i give you people getting killed look at that board on the walls look at all i mean none of that was seen in the first prototype so they i mean i i'm so happy that they put more into the graphics in this game the 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 character interactions between you the main character and the the um random people are crazy like i went into one neighborhood and the people actually told me to get out of that neighborhood because they didn't want me there that's something that you didn't see in the first one it was just it was uh bleak and really random the way that conversations happened between the random people and alex mercer in the first prototype but this one is a lot better everything is better if you haven't bought prototype 2 go out to the store right now as soon as you buy this as soon as you see this video after you like and comment on it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do it. After you do all that, go to the store and buy this game and play it. And you will see that this game is definitely a game that you need in your life. I'm not having it in a Game Caviar Studios. I'm going back to play this game some more because I can't put it down. I'm out.